Okay, here we go. Brenda here with a quick video on a um, graduation card box. So I, I'm sure I saw this box on Pinterest. Um, it wasn't exactly like this. It was um, shorter and I don't know what they made it with. It wasn't a how-to video or anything, but it, it was the inspiration for this. Um, I, I'm, I don't remember who it was. I will see if I can find it and put it in the um, description below of, of who, who the inspiration was. Um, I'm sure I can find it, though. Uh, so this is the box. My son graduated, and we had a, um, a joint party with his best friend um, and their family, and it, it turned out really great. Um, I, I made my box taller because I wanted you to be able to fit a, um, a large card in it. So I kind of went off that, that size for it. Um, so, let's see. We have... Um, um, foam core and black construction paper. Um, so a, a tassel... Um, the foam core and the black construction paper all um, I got from Joanne. So, um, and I just pulled out some old buttons from my tin. And this is really light because foam core is very light. So, um, and, and hot glue. So that's all this is. is. We're going to try to be really quick here. Um, so I, I used a, found, used a large graduation card as, as inspiration for size to make sure that um, people's cards would all be able to fit into the box. So, um, this is what I, this is foam core here. What it is is a little bit of foam material, um, with paper on both sides. In this case, black paper, but you can get it in all kinds of colors. Um, so I've cut my square at, um, 10 and 1 8th, uh, by 10 and 1 8th. And that will be the top piece. And, um, then I used a plate. See, it was this plate, the plate I have my hot glue gun on right here. I just laid it on the um, on top of the uh, foam core, and I drew a circle around it with the uh, white um, pastel pencil, and then um, used my X-Acto blade to cut both these pieces out. So this is my leftover here. Um, so I've got uh, the bottom piece, and this is the top piece, and and then I have the outside piece. Um, so my circle diameter ended up being, because of the size of my plate, um, seven and seven eighths in diameter. Um, and when you add the paper, it makes for a, a, a eight inch diameter total. And then, um, and as I said, the square is ten and one eighth by ten and one eighth. Could have just done um, ten by ten, um, but that's the way it came out. And and then my. Uh, Um, box piece um, is going to be uh, this is 26 long by 14 is too long. I'm going to make it by let's see, um, 9 and a quarter. should have done this part before I started the video um, for time saving purposes. I tried to um, get most stuff ready and this is a very quick project. So let's see. Let's keep a line. Let's line up my dashes. Not right. Let's try that one again. Nine and a quarter is right here. Let's line it up. And I'm go the rest of the way. I'm just going to cut this with my X-Acto knife. Um, my piece here wasn't long enough, so I hot glued an extra piece on. And if you can get it long enough, and you don't have to hot glue it, but you won't, you won't see that. 
washer and put my seams to the back. enough so it's sturdy. Okay. And let's see, let's really quickly still taping. Oh good. Let's really quickly draw a I'm gonna go from corner to corner with my my uh, white pastel pencil so you can erase this off really easily. It shows up really well. So um, I know where I want to put my um, my cut and I want it to be I want my cut to be let's see I wrote it on the back um, make the slot six and one fourth so I'm gonna find the center really quickly so fourteen and uh, one fourth would be seven and one eighth so that's my center So from the center, I will go three and one eighth on each side, six and a quarter total, and then I want it to be a quarter wide, one quarter inch wide, and put a little mark there, and over here at this end. Right. And let's draw a line. Okay. And let's just give that a cut. I'll show you how easy this foam core cuts. I hope I'm in frame. My camera is up over my screen and I can't see. I just try to work within this gray mat area underneath here. through the paper. So I've got my gun over here, sitting on a plate. It's off screen. Sorry about that. And I may stick my head in the way while I'm doing this because I have to see. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little hot glue on here along the bottom. Nice and fat line. Just about, I don't know, two inches worth of glue on there. And then I'm going to hold it here. Okay, this is how I'm going to start. Let my glue dry. It doesn't take long at all. Okay, and since this is the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and put a little there. And just a little more over here. A little blob. You won't see the inside. Okay. Let that dry. Okay. I'm just going to put another oh, about two inches worth. And there you go. Move it a little so you don't stick to your surface. Okay. 
Okay. Doesn't take much at all to dry. Don't try to get out of control and do too much or go too fast. Keep it at the bottom. Never mind about the flyaways. <coughs> A trick to getting the flyaways um, to disappear is just uh, use your blow dryer and shrinks them right up. Okay, so just be a little patient on this part. I'm stuck to my mat a little bit. Gotta be careful about that. Okay, you're not really going to see the bottom again, so won't need to be pretty. Can't see the inside or the bottom. So there you go. Put another big old line right across the bottom. And there you go. Don't burn your hands. Put a little glue on you. Move it around so you don't stick. Have your spare glue sticks sitting by. When you're done using your box, I just only glue the top on in a few little spots and I just pry the top off. It's such an easy, cheap project. I didn't expect to reuse it for anything ever, so that's kind of the deal. A little high on that one. Hope I'm still taping. Okay, so you can see how much I'm going to overlap. Mm, a little more than an inch. Well, that's good. I think I missed it. Missed it here. Let's do it again. Okay, and I don't want to glue the overlap yet. I want to get right to the end before I start gluing that to each. Another 